Okay, so in this video, let's understand how can we call AI agents using record triggered flows, right? So first, let's understand how, why do we need this, right? So let's take an example of your customer care executive uh, on a call with your customer, right? So once the call gets ended, the call transcript record will get created, right? So based on that call transcript record, uh, if you want so your AI agent to perform some actions, you can do that using record triggered flows, right? So the problem is how can we call record, how can we call AI agent using the record triggered flows, right? So for this, I have created one query object. Uh, I have created one query object into our crazy cloud application, right? So whenever a query record gets created, let's see, let's suppose uh, if a student has, uh, has uh, added a query uh, regarding the online Salesforce course, I just want this record to be transferred to the correct department right so if the selected course is salesforce it should go to the salesforce department if the selected course is python it should go to the python department right if uh, the this is aws or java it should uh, go to the relevant departments right so what we will be doing here is if, uh, whenever a query record gets created we will be calling our uh, record triggered flow right and that record triggered flow will be calling your ai agent right and then your ai agent will be uh, updating this record and assigning it to the correct department right so obviously we can do this uh, uh, in the record triggered flow itself but for this example we are not doing or we are not updating this record into the record record flow but we are calling our AI agent from the record record flow right i hope that th this is clear right so for that uh, here i have created five queues salesforce department python department java aws and crazy cloud admin right and i have added query object into all of the five departments right now <clears throat> your AI agent will use uh, one apex class right to update this record right so this apex class i have already created one apex class here which is uh, accepting a parameter as query record id as an input and will be sending confirmation message as an output right so based on this query record id uh, the apex class will fetch the complete record <laughs> it will check what is the selected course uh, if the selected course is salesforce it will assign this record to the salesforce department right so here is a complete code i have already written right if you want this code uh, just you can ask for it into the comment section and i will definitely give you the code right <coughs> okay so let's go to our agent first this is our agent right right now this is deactivated i'll just create one more new topic here let's add new topic describe what this topic is responsible for this topic is used to this topic is used to assign the student queries assign the student queries to the correct department correct let's click on next uh, the title, the, uh, the, the title, name, labels, and classification dis classification descriptions will automatically get created, right? Uh, if you want to edit this, you can do that. Assign student queries to the correct department based on the nature of the inquiry, based on the nature of the inquiry, based on the selected course, right? Scope is your job is only to classify student queries and route them to the appropriate department do not attempt to handle the queries directly correct okay so let's delete these descriptions i don't want this right so query record id is mandatory right add one more instruction that uh, use this topic when user asks update the this query query record id right so i'm just uh 
I'm just giving instruction to this AI agent that you have to use this topic only when you are, if only when you are getting a prompt as uh, uh, update this query and with the record ID, right? Query record ID is mandatory, right? Let's click on next. I have not created any action for now. Let's finish. So let's go to this topic and assign one action. To assign the new action, you have to create new action. The action type should be Apex. Category should be invocable method. Reference type is assign student query. Click on next. We don't want to show any loading text here. Why? Because this time uh, the user is not directly asking the AI agent to update the query record, but instead uh, it is the record triggered flow in the backend who is calling the AI agent, right? So that's why we do not want any uh, loading text. Why? Because there is no human interference with the AI agent, right? Instruction is nothing but let's say this is a required field this is the confirmation message correct uh show in conversation why because it is mandatory to have at least one show in conversation right click on finish the actions api name is already in use go back in to enter requirement okay actions api name go back to next finish complete all required fields i don't want to load show any loading text enable the show in conversation show in conversation what your what is your problem uh, instruction this is a required field this is a, the confirmation message click on finish now we have created one action and assign it to uh, the correct topic right uh, let's do one thing let's test this uh, agent if it is working right so we'll use this query record let's update this uh, to one user yes city right so i'll just pass this record id this query record id to the i'll just pass this query record id to the our a agent right and let's see if uh, the a agent is able to get the uh, selected course and based on the selected course uh, if he is able to assign it to the correct department right so right now this query is assigned to the owner yash so ideally it should be assigned to the salesforce department right so let's see if it if the if our a agent is working perfectly or not right so the instruction was update this query right update this query and our query record id or we'll just change the instruction could you please provide more details to clarify our activity query? So the problem is we need to update this instruction to let's say assign this query to the relevant department, right? And save it so we already have uh, some standard topics right that's why there was an ambiguity and assign this relevant department and the record id is this Assign this query to the relevant department. This query has been successfully assigned to the relevant department. Why? So this message is coming from your Apex class. If you go down, if the if the record is successfully updated, we are passing a message that query assigned to queue. 
and our atlas reasoning engine once the atlas reasoning engine is getting this message that uh, see confirmation message as query assigned to the queue right this message is coming from the apex class now your apex reasoning in uh, atlas reasoning engine is redefining this complete message to show onto the ui right and now let's go to the query record and refresh this page and see the owner is successfully updated to the salesforce department right now uh, i don't want any human interference right uh, for now for this example i have just uh, given a prompt to the directly to the ai agent right but uh, what i want as soon as this record gets created i just want it to auto update right so to do this i will just create one record triggered flow right let's go to the flows and create a new flow triggered flow record triggered flow select object as query why because we are going to update the query record a record is created no condition requirement update all of the records right so here uh, once your once a record of query object gets created this record triggered flow will be called and this record triggered flow will be calling your a agent right so to call the a agent from your, from your flows you just need to click on the plus icon select an action first you need to mark it as active right now let me check if the name is coming or not crazy cloud agent no you have to refresh this trigger record trigger flows object should be query record is created no condition requirement action and now you will be getting your agent right so you will only get those agent into the list which are activated right so crazy cloud agent call the ai agent right now so if you want to talk to any ai agent first you need to give the prompt right so in our case uh, we are calling this ai agent from the record record flow so record record flow need to pass the prompt to start the ai agent working right so let's pass the prompt what prompt our ai agent is accept, expecting uh, the prompt should be this one right so give it a prompt and instead of this record id i'll pass the triggering record id right triggering records record id so i'll just use the formula here right i'm not using any session id and any other fields let's click on save assign student query to q right let's click on save and it will throw me an error why let's see what is the error a record triggered flow cannot execute actions that make external callouts right so according to salesforce whenever you are using the ai agent it is making some external callouts right and external callouts cannot be uh, used uh, into the run immediately path right so instead of run immediately path you have to call your ai agent into the scheduled path right so how to do that uh, i'll just add scheduled path right call the ai agent right time source is when the query is created offset number is 1 1 minutes after right now let's cut this element from here to there right so basically the problem is uh, you cannot call your ai agent from record triggered flow into the run immediately path why because record triggered flows works into the synchronous mode but uh, calling the, but the ai agent works into the asynchronous mode right because see what error we got here was that uh, make uh, the record triggered flow cannot execute actions that make external callouts in a path that runs immediately right so let's click on save duplicate why it is showing duplicate uh, messages 
on save right now it got saved click on activate now let's understand the flow as soon as your uh, you will create a query record this record triggered flow will gets executed and after one minute it will call the ai agent and then your and pass the record id which record id what the, the record id of the query which is which is triggering this uh, record triggered flow right and this ai agent will then update will use this apex action right will use this topic and then this topic will be using the apex action and this apex action is used to update the query record right uh, so let's go to the queries and try to create a new query right let's see let's have an example of a student which is who is trying to get some information about online python courses right so right now this record is being assigned to the to yash why because i have created this record manually right but after one minute it will be auto assigned to the correct department based on the uh, selected course right so student have selected python for, for uh, python in this record right so this particular record should only be assigned to the python department right let's wait for a minute meanwhile let's have a look into the apex class query record id is an input confirmation message is an output right so based on this query record i'm just getting i'm just getting the complete query record right based on the query id right and based on the selected course i'm just uh, fetching the correct queue right so i have already created one map of queue where i'm getting all of the queues uh, all of the five queues and storing it into a map where queue id is a key and queue name is a uh, value right and based on that i'm just updating this query record right if you want this code uh, i'll just i'll just give it to you into the comment section if you want uh, just ask me Let's refresh this page. Owner is not yet updated. Let's wait for one minute. Agent is activated. Flow is activated. And in the flow, we are using one minute after, right? One minutes after. Okay. Let's refresh this again. Easy the record is being updated to the uh, being assigned to the python department right so this is how it works this is how you can call your ai agents to, directly from your record triggered flows right i hope that is clear